Ever wondered what makes a scorpion's sting so dangerous? It's a question that piques our curiosity and the answer lies in the scorpion's venom, a substance as intriguing as it is deadly. This venom is a potent cocktail of neurotoxins, each with a specific role in immobilizing the scorpion's prey or defending against predators. There are two primary types of venom that scorpions use, cytotoxins and neurotoxins. Cytotoxins target the tissues and organs, causing pain and swelling, while neurotoxins affect the nervous system, leading to symptoms like convulsions, paralysis or even death in extreme cases. But here's a twist, not all scorpions possess venom deadly to humans. Out of over 2,000 different species, only about 25 have venom potent enough to be fatal to humans. So, while a scorpion sting is certainly something to be wary of, it's also a fascinating glimpse into the complex world of these ancient arachnids. The sting of a scorpion is not merely painful, it's a cocktail of toxins. Did you know scorpions have been around far longer than humans? Yes, you heard that right. These fascinating creatures have been crawling the earth for nearly 400 million years, way back when the continents were still forming. They've survived through different geological eras, from the Silurian Age when they first appeared to the present Holocene epoch. Their long tenure on Earth is a testament to their resilience and adaptability. Scorpions have evolved into over 2,000 species, each uniquely adapted to their environment. They've seen the rise and fall of dinosaurs, witnessed the Ice Age and endured the dramatic climate changes that have swept across the planet. What's their secret? Scorpions are masters of survival. They've evolved to thrive in some of the world's harshest environments, from scorching deserts to freezing mountains. And despite their age, they continue to surprise us with their intriguing behaviors and survival strategies. Scorpions, the ancient warriors of the animal kingdom. What if I told you, scorpions have a natural nightlight? Yes, you heard it right, this fascinating creature has a unique ability to glow under ultraviolet light. It's like they have their very own disco party going on, so, why do they glow? Well, it's all thanks to a substance in their exoskeleton called hyaline. When exposed to ultraviolet rays, hyaline reacts and gives off a vibrant bluish-green glow. And the glow is not just for show, it helps scorpions find each other and even serves as a protection against predators. But here's the most interesting part. Even after a scorpion has shed its exoskeleton, the old one continues to glow. Scientists are still unraveling the mysteries of this glowing phenomenon, which is observable in all scorpion species worldwide. So, next time, when you're out in the wild, remember this cool fact and watch your step. Scorpions, lighting up the night in their own unique way. Think scorpions are just desert dwellers? Think again. While it's true that many scorpions do favor hot sandy habitats, not all of them are sun-seeking creatures. Some species have adapted to thrive in cold climates, found in high-altitude regions and even snow-dusted landscapes. How do they survive, you ask? Well, these resilient arachnids have an incredible ability to slow their metabolism, a state known as diapause. This allows them to live on as little as one insect per year. Yes, you heard it right, a whole year on a single meal. Moreover, their bodies contain a special kind of protein that acts like an antifreeze, preventing their vital tissues from freezing solid, even in sub-zero temperatures. It's a fascinating display of nature's adaptability, isn't it? So, next time you're trekking through a snowy mountain pass or exploring a frosty forest, remember, you might not be as alone as you think, scorpions defying the odds in the most extreme conditions. What do you think a scorpion eats for dinner? Do they order takeout or perhaps prepare a gourmet meal? Not quite. Scorpions are opportunistic predators, meaning they'll eat just about anything they can get their claws into. Their diet primarily consists of insects, spiders, and even other scorpions. They're also known to feast on small mammals, birds, and reptiles when the opportunity presents itself. Scorpions have a unique hunting technique. They use their pincers to seize their prey and then their venomous sting to immobilize it. But what's even more fascinating is their ability to survive without food for long periods. Thanks to their slow metabolism and ability to regulate their energy consumption, scorpions can go for up to a year without eating. Now that's an impressive feat. So whether it's catching their own dinner or enduring food scarcity, scorpions are the ultimate survivors. They've adapted to thrive in some of the harshest conditions on Earth, making them one of nature's most resilient creatures. Scorpions, the ultimate survivors. Ever thought about the love life of a scorpion? Well, it's a courtship that is both dangerous and fascinating. The male guides the female in a mesmerizing dance known as the promenade a deux. It's a tango of sorts, 
where a wrong step could lead to the male becoming the female's next meal. Talk about high-stakes romance. The intrigue doesn't stop there. Unlike most arachnids, scorpions are viviparous, which means they give live birth. That's right, no eggs involved. The mother scorpion carries her young inside her until they are fully developed. Once born, the tiny scorpions climb onto their mother's back for protection and transportation. They'll stay there until they've undergone their first molt and are capable of fending for themselves. So, from their perilous mating dance to their exceptional birthing process, scorpions are anything but ordinary. With their unique approach to reproduction, they certainly keep us on our toes. Scorpions, unique in love as in war. A scorpion's defense is not just its sting. While the notorious sting is certainly a formidable weapon, it's just one of the many defenses in a scorpion's arsenal. The scorpion's exoskeleton, for instance, is a tough outer shell that provides a strong shield against predators. It's like they're wearing a suit of armor. And then there are the pedipalps, or pincers. These are not just for show, my friends. These formidable appendages are used to grasp and crush prey, but they can also serve as a deterrent to any creature thinking about making a scorpion its next meal. Scorpions also use a fascinating strategy called thanatosis. Sounds ominous, right? It's actually a fancy term for playing dead. When threatened, some scorpions will remain perfectly still, tricking predators into thinking they're already deceased. Lastly, some species can even spray venom from their stinger as a form of long-distance defense. So remember, scorpions are indeed armed and dangerous. How many types of scorpions do you think exist? Well, prepare to be amazed. The scorpion family, known scientifically as scorpiones, is incredibly diverse, with over 2,000 species identified to date. And these aren't just desert dwellers as popularly believed. Scorpions have conquered a variety of habitats from sandy deserts to dense rainforests and even high-altitude mountains. This broad range of environments has led to an equally wide array of scorpion adaptations. Some species, like the Death Stalker, possess potent venom for hunting and defense, while others, like the Emperor Scorpion, rely more on their formidable claws. Sizes also vary significantly, from the tiny Microtidius minimus, barely a centimeter long, to the majestic Heterometris swammerdami, stretching to an impressive 9 inches. Whether it's the sand-dwelling Androctonus australis or the forest-dwelling Pandanus imperator, each scorpion species is uniquely adapted to survive and thrive in its specific habitat. Scorpions, a diverse family of deadly predators. Scorpions have left a mark on human culture too. These eight-legged creatures have slithered their way into mythologies, symbolisms, and even the night sky. In ancient Egypt, the scorpion was revered as a protector, embodied in the goddess Serket. She was considered a guardian against venomous creatures, often depicted with a scorpion on her head. Moving to Greece, the scorpion has its place in the stars as the constellation Scorpius. The tale of Orion the hunter being defeated by a scorpion is a classic story in Greek mythology. Fast forward to the modern era, the scorpion has become a popular symbol in tattoo art, representing strength, passion, and transformation. In popular culture, it has inspired characters in movies, books, and video games, often associated with danger, mystery, and resilience. From the ancient sands of Egypt to the bright lights of Hollywood, the scorpion has etched its identity in human history. Scorpions not just a creature, but a cultural icon. Scorpions are not just predators, they're also contributors to science. When you hear the word scorpion, you might think of a deadly desert-dwelling creature. But did you know that their venom, as lethal as it can be, is a goldmine for medical research? That's right, the venom of these arachnids is a complex cocktail of hundreds of different toxins, each with a specific target in the nervous system. This unique property has led scientists to investigate their potential in treating a variety of health conditions. One such toxin has shown promise in the treatment of brain tumors, while others are being explored for their potential in managing arthritis and heart disease. Moreover, scorpion venom is also being used to develop new classes of antibiotics, addressing the growing threat of antibiotic resistance. So, next time you think of scorpions, remember that they're not just about the sting, but also about the cure. Scorpions offering a sting of hope in medical science. So, what have we learned about scorpions today? Well, we've discovered that these remarkable creatures are more than just their notorious stings. They've been around for hundreds of millions of years, witnessing the Earth's evolution firsthand. And did you know they glow under ultraviolet light? Quite a party trick, isn't it? We've also learned how they defy expectations by surviving in the cold, contrary to the common belief that they solely inhabit hot, arid regions. 
Their diet, consisting primarily of insects, shows their role as effective pest controllers. Meanwhile, their unique reproduction process involving a complex mating dance reveals a fascinating aspect of their life cycle. We've delved into the wide variety of scorpion species, each with its own distinct characteristics and defense mechanisms. They've made their mark in human culture, symbolizing strength and resilience and have even contributed to science, particularly in the field of venom research. Scorpions, a fascinating creature of many talents, 